G'day gentlemen, just wanted to make a really quick video before the year finishes. 2017 is approaching in Australia, that's pretty much tomorrow. I wish you all the best in 2017 and for the years to come. I just wanted to highlight a actual MGTOW content maker, Liberation Y. Subscribe to him if you haven't already. Mind-blowing content. The way he dissects the truth about gynocentrism is mind-blowing. Here's a little piece from one of his videos. Oh, I get it. Males want to deny gynocentric truths because it would shatter their world, their beliefs, their social paradigms. Indeed, their very identities would be fatally compromised if they were to see male devaluation and disposability for what they really are, stark truths. So most males will deny male expendability in favor of the man up worldview, where males just need to suck it up and get in line for the slaughterhouse. So what? You have to serve and die. That's just life. Deal with it. At least you get to look at artificially colored females as you do. I also want to talk about Married at First Sight that Channel 9 are presenting. Which man in his right mind would marry at all? Study no fault divorce. Look into it. You'd be crazy. Look at the divorce rates. 83% of divorce in Australia is initiated by women. Are you fucking serious? Look at these spastics. Check out how old these females are. They're hitting the wall. Their clock is ticking. They're pretty much telling you that their clock is ticking to your face. You must be really desperate to be getting married. These men, these cucks, must be crazy. The only reason why anybody would put such a production together is because they know men don't want to get married. Men are running away from the plantation. So here we have this package that's all la -di da married at first sight. It's so beautiful. This princess that's putting on her dress with all this makeup. The only reason this is all happening in this production is because these people want men to come back. You know what? Come back. But Bye bye, we ain't coming back, see you later. Just wanted to let my brothers know also that in January, this month coming, my local court matter will be approaching. Police have called me, they told me that they want to drop the charges, the prosecutor wants to drop the charges, but the magistrate is blocking that from happening because of this thing called duty of care, due to the fact that there are children involved. In these type of situations as a man, what I've learned is, as a father, that you hope for the best, but you expect the worst, because this whole thing is against men. It's nothing but about extraction of wealth from men. They throw you under the bus. So yep, yeah, there you go, there you have it. Hope for the best, expect the worst. Don't get married, otherwise you will be put in such a predicament. Just wanted to remind you again, guys, subscribe to Liberation Y. He's got awesome content. And once again, all the best in 2017.